Anyone out there over the age of 25, have you ever just woken up and something hurt? <laughs> Do you remember the last time you sat in yet another long meeting that could have been taken care of via email? How stiff and uncomfortable your body gets? What about sitting in a cramped plane? Sucks. We know we can get pain from sitting too long. We also get pain from overdoing activity, especially with something we don't normally do. Like when you decide you are finally going to tackle that home project, and you DIY all the things, and the next day, everything is sore. What if I told you you've not done any damage, and that your pain is coming from muscle tension, and that you can fix it without any products, without a prescription, or side effects. My treatment is free. It's a poor business model. <laughs> but I'm OK with that. What you need is to stretch yourself. <laughs> I grew up doing gymnastics and dance, and being physically active and stretching every day with the team was a way of life. I never questioned stretching, and I didn't know life without it. After I was no longer involved in organized sports, I had to create my own exercise structure, and I continue doing those same stretches I learned growing up, and I still do those every day. When the regulars see me at the Y, they say, good morning, pretzel. <laughs> when you're involved in sports, injuries, aches, pains are a part of the deal. Along the way, I unintentionally learned how to manage and treat injuries with exercise and stretching, I was so interested in it, I decided to pack up my bags and head off to physical therapy school so I could have an actual title. People would actually listen to me. I was so excited to be Dr. Shaman. But after all that work, as it turns out, my patients call me Dr. Shaman. No, they call me kiddo. <laughs> and now I'm a physical therapist. And no, I am not a sadist. Despite word on the street, I want people to feel better. <laughs> After I'd been in clinical practice a few years, I started noticing the same patterns over and over. Everyone had the same issue. Everyone needed to hear the same thing. And I knew I needed to reach a wider audience. So, I am standing here to say, <laughs> if something hurts, y'all need to stretch. <laughs> How do I know? A surprising amount of pain comes from muscle tension. Sometimes there's an accident or an injury, and your muscles tense up to protect you. We call that guarding. Think of a car accident and that sudden jarring force. Have you ever lost your balance on a slippery surface and felt your muscles seize up? That can be enough to cause lasting pain. Winter snow and ice are job security. But other times, pain comes on more gradually, and many patients do come in with pain they've had for years. Many have tried other treatment and even been through surgery and still don't feel any better. I mean, surgery, can you imagine? What a bummer. So these patients will come in believing they need to strengthen the muscle or the joint that hurts, and while that is noble, beating that dead horse won't do you any favors. You just need to stretch those muscles out. After stretching for a week or two, patients come back and say, why didn't anyone show me this? Where's this been all my life? They say, I, I'm here now. <laughs> Remember, weak muscles don't hurt. Muscles that are too stiff, too tight, spasming, cause pain. Stretching will make them relax their death grip. There is a time and a place for strengthening, but stretching will give you pain relief. Pain that's been coming on over a long time, and you don't really know what you did, is due to muscles that are overly worked and fatigued. Sometimes that's with a repetitive motion or activity, like in a sport or a job. That is a common culprit for shoulder pain. The stretch is great to give shoulders relief. But other times, it's when we sit too long. Usually at a desk, looking at a computer, sitting in traffic, looking down at our phones in a Pinterest trance. <laughs> when we are in a sustained posture, our muscles are working eccentrically, which means they are elongating. They're like ropes holding up a bridge. 
We're holding you up so you don't fall forward. What if you had to do that all day? You'd be grumpy too. <laughs> the only way to relieve that muscle fatigue and give them a break is to stretch. Tilt your head to each side and stretch the side of your neck and you will feel so much better at the end of your workday. Look down and stretch the back of your neck and you will feel so much better after a long day of TED Talks. <laughs> Round out your back and stretch the muscles in your thoracic spine after a long meeting. Pause every time you're walking back into your office and stretch the front of your chest and your shoulders in the doorway. For all those folks who get back pain when you stand too long, your pain is coming from low back muscles being in a shortened, tight position. Think of all that standing daily activity as a marathon for those muscles. Don't feel like something is wrong if they get tired after all that work. Stretching is like a quick water break in the middle of the marathon. I'm not promising your back's never going to hurt again because life. I'm just saying, here's how to manage it. You can stretch those low back muscles by reversing their shortened position and pulling them taut. And you can stretch them anytime, anywhere. Give your legs relief by stretching your quads after a long day on your feet. After you mow the lawn, stretch out your hamstrings. You can stretch your calves like this while you brush your teeth before you go to bed, and you won't wake up with a calf cramp. You're welcome. <laughs> this last stretch is a game changer. When muscles in the back of the hip get tight, they can compress your sciatic nerve and other structures. If you cross one ankle over your knee and gently lean forward, you will relieve the literal pain in your butt. <laughs> This stretch will change lives. Don't believe me? Try it. What do you have to lose? Now, a lot of folks tell me, I can't do that stretch and stuff. I've got bulging, herniated disc. Don't worry about that disc. 92% of an asymptomatic population will show some form of degeneration on lumbar MRI. Now, a lot of these fools are walking around with bulging and herniated discs and no pain or symptoms. Disc or joint degeneration on MRI just means you put some miles on the car. It's a sign of normal aging, but it's not necessarily a source of pain. So even if you have a history of disc issues or arthritis, stretching is still going to help and is not going to make anything worse. I do not for a minute want to trivialize pain. I know when a muscle or a joint hurts and you don't know where it's coming from, it can be scary. I hope to reassure you, we have all been on WebMD at midnight. <laughs> do not let that pain tell you a story. It is fixable. Now, I know someone out there is thinking, I'm not buying what she's selling. Nothing hurts. Stick with me. <laughs> If you have muscles and bones, this applies to you. <laughs> Don't wait until something hurts. Stretches are not a one-time quick fix for injuries. They're daily vitamins. It's like saying, you brushed your teeth yesterday and today, and you're going to brush them again tomorrow? What's wrong with your teeth? <laughs> There's nothing wrong, right? There are certain activities we do every day as part of daily maintenance, just part of keeping these human bodies running. If you're still not convinced, remember, there was a time before toothbrushes. Were those people surviving? Yeah, but there were also a lot more wooden teeth back then. <laughs> Things could have been so much better. Physical therapists are not here to make sure you stay alive. We're here to make sure you want to stay alive. <laughs> Quality of life, y'all. <laughs> How often should you stretch? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Only on the days you want to feel good. <laughs> I would recommend every day. It really is easier if you just make it part of your daily routine so you don't think about it. You just do it on autopilot and it becomes a habit. Don't ask your body if it's in the mood. Just like every day you get up and brush your teeth and get ready, every day you do your stretches. After activity, after you're warm and loosened up, when your muscles are tired, stretch them out to give them relief. What I hear all the time is, oh, stretching, I should really do that. 
Yes, you should. <laughs> I used to work in a clinic where the whole staff would change clothes and do a group yoga session on their break every day. Why aren't we all doing that? Stretch after work, after you take your dog for a walk. Teach your kids to stretch. Stretch wherever and whenever you can throughout your day. I dream of a world where you see people stretching in the grocery checkout line, <laughs> sitting in traffic, waiting for an elevator. If we will stretch and take care of our body's most basic needs, we will feel so much better and then be able to extend our best selves to the people around us. Y'all didn't think I was going to get that deep about stretching, did you? <laughs> Make stretching a part of your daily rhythm, woven into your routine, and you will feel so good, you will wonder how you ever lived without it. So the next time your friend complains something hurts, I want you to lean over and tell him, stretch yourself. <laughs> Thank you very much.